Hey guys, Drift Grid here. Today, Evan, we're back with Banana Fish, episode 24. So I've just come off episode 23, so I really do want to jump into this. Um, overall, though, fantastic show. I've loved every minute of it. And I will talk more about it at the end, because I just want to really jump into this one. <laughs> if you don't, because... Oh, mate, I, don't, I want to jump into it, but I don't want to know how it ends now. Because that ended the last episode, like, everything can go wrong. But anyway, let's jump into this. Oh, he's locked out his men. Fuck. Oh, they were ambushed. You can tell this guy's a military man. That's why he's sleeping. Huh, get wrecked, son. Fuck off. Stop hitting my boy. Killed him off. Fuck. Dead man. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck God, thank God he joined, didn't he? Yeah, paid me yet. <laughs> Needs his dinner. Oh. I love Sing. <laughs> I love these two. These have been such great additions, mate. Yeah, boy. I love him. I did not expect them to take Skyter down this route. They were underestimating our boy, eh, you fucking idiots. Why would you underestimate Ash? <laughs> Underestimating my boy, Ash, you fools. Dinks. He crawled all the way just to do one fuck up. Fucking hell. <laughs> you way too big for the vent. Don't throw comedy into the episode. Come on. <laughs> I guess it lines up a little bit. Nice! Oh, yeah! Big Mama coming in! The savage! Fucking the mum of the series! <laughs> She's getting her husband back! <laughs> that was fantastic! Oh, I love how she came in. Oh, the boys are back together. Oh. Yes! You know my boy Max. <laughs> Man looking scroggly. Ah, oh, Jessica, absolute warrior. Never expected that it's from her, from her in this series. <laughs> oh, don't ask that question now. Oh, we might again. Oh, fucking hell! That was adorable. That's probably one of my favourite moments in the series. Oh, well, uh, guys, Doctor, do something. That was pretty savage. Got a thick ass. Stop. <laughs> Mate, I think they're really well at the moment. I'm a bit worried. How many of them can disappear? Oh shit, you shot him. Oh, he shot him. Man, he's just killing everyone, isn't he? Fucking hell, Ash. It feels like a fine fucking boss. There's a fucking chopper to fight now. Are you about to snipe the chopper now? Oh, boy! <laughs> Is he going for the fucking? Oh, he's gonna shoot the chopper now. That's badass. <laughs> what a legend! Nani? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> That was so sick. Hey, you can't give me a little bit of rest, can you? Mate, you'd be fucked if you had no wound, you fucking prick. Careful, mate, you're just in the open. 
I'll wait for you get the hand time combat. Some of my favourite in the series. Mate, Arthur seems so long ago. Fucking hell. Oh, that wound's fucking acting up. He's noticed the wound. Fuck. Sniper. Oh, you're such a sick sniper. Oh, the music. Yeah, you know it's going to get OP when it does that. Oh, fucking love this. Seeing these two are MVPs in this episode. Fuck yeah. The suitcase that's just coming. Boy, sing. I fucking love sing. You absolutely Oh, mate, we're getting a fight just like thingy. Maybe you get fucking murdered. We've got the explosions to worry about as well. Oh, fuck go. Come on, Ash. Knock this fucker out. The murderer's ass. Oh, mate. He's getting some his tie juice all over here. Come on, Ash. Oh, oh mate, I want this guy to die now. Fuck you, you couldn't. <gasps> no, get that knife out. Someone snipe the bastard. Snipe him. Come on. Drill him in the head. Yes. Fuck you, you cunt. Get that knife out of his shoulder, please. Oh. Get it out. Don't. S oh, thank fuck. <sighs> Fucking hell. How long we got left? Oh, we're still only halfway through. Oh, fuck. Sing, don't die. Grab that bastard. Oh, this is her arm as well. Drop the banana fish. Please save him. Can't you just lob it back into the building? You could have just thrown it, to be fair, on there. What? How is he still alive? What? Snipe him. Snipe the bastard. Snipe him. Snipe the bastard. Snipe him. Please snipe. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, shit. No, he... Oh, man. He did one fucking good deed. I hope you fucking die as well, you cunt. I suppose this guy can move around so fucking much. Fucking scum. I hope he dies. Don't you fucking dare do it to my boy Ash. Oh, he did one good deed before dying. The makeup fell all over shit he did. So we all thought this has even happened. Like, get happy married. And then end the series with Ash and EG going to Japan. And then we can end it all there. Oh, he called him dad. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. Mate. Mate. My boy sing. I think it's going fucking well so far. I like it. I'm glad. Huh. <laughs> The bitch slap contest. I feel for him. This was a good. This is a really good story arc as well. Every character has fantastic story arcs, and the acting really well. Yeah, boy. He has a strength. Where's the hit, my brothers? I'm glad we're getting some insight to his character before the show ends. I'm glad the last two episodes did this for him. To be fair, I struggled to hate him. Now that's all very understand where he's sort of coming from, it's all like if. Yeah. He's just. You understand. よくここが分かったな。あんた昔よくここで本読んでたじゃないか。それより、やらだ。515ドル 
We have the dinner date. Shin wa Yuerun sama no koto. Muni ni ni apa sahaja yang happen. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> that is what it's end happily. I'll <laughs> be happy. Shin wa yatsu o korose ne. Anta no yu tori da yo. No, don't stay away from him. Go find him. Mate, you all said goodbyes. They gotta see each other before the series ends. ふくせ。今日立つんだろ。し、君に頼みがあるんだ。足に渡してくれないか。お、面白いですね。僕が会って話したいけど、この有様だし。誰にも頼めなくて。でも俺、足は今どこにいるか知らねえ。You <laughs> Man's gaining some knowledge. I love his turtleneck. Mm. Who's that? Who is that watching him? Who was watching him then? Oh, there's still time in the episode left, and I don't like the fact that someone was watching him there. It's a ticket. Oh. <laughs> that was the best ever letter that I ever needed. <laughs> oh. That was the best. That was so adorable. Oh. Oh, the guy's saying bye to Oh, everyone's so adorable. The blushing as well. That's a beautiful show. Yes. Run to that airport. No! That's his, that's fucking Sing's body in it! You son of a bitch! No! Why did he kill it? Overshot at you! Oh my god! Did he really just kill Ash? They can't just kill Ash off like that! You dickhead! What are you doing? You. They're not going to leave it on an open ending, are they? You took... You... I hate this man. Oh, and that's why he's walking in the intro. Is it going to be an open ending? Where did he get him? They can't end off like that. That was all going well. His reasoning for doing that as well. Oh, fuck that guy. Did you just kill off Ash? Can you call an ambulance, man? He's in front of people. Ask for help. I'm hoping it's the open ending, so we don't know. So prefer that. Then if he actually just dies. Sayonara, New York. Sayonara. Oh, but EG, you little cute, fucking cute pie. 
ていけどんなに遠く離れていても君は僕の最高の友達だ Don't show us a death shot, please. ちょっとこんなところで寝てはダメよあなた Did he actually just pass? Fucking help him! You can't just fucking end like that! That is such a shit way to kill him off. That guy had no reason. Oh my god, like that guy fucking did that. Ah,、oh, I'm a bit pissed about that. Fuck. It was, what annoys me most is because it was just all going so happily. And if it was going fine. If it was perfect. And then they. The worst part about this, she didn't, I would have been fine if she turned him over and realised there was blood there. And then she was like, called an ambulance. Then that would be more of an open ending. But she's just left him there to sleep while he's bleeding to death. So that means that, like, most likely he would have bled to death and died.、Uh, so just so you know, guys, I had to do back home before I left for work. So I had to watch the episode and I wasn't able to review it, as you can probably tell by the abrupt ending. But I've just finished editing it and now I'm going to give my thoughts up for the whole season. <laughs> She nearly got teary eyed when I edited it because now I've calmed down a little bit. I was fuming when I was leaving. Like, when I. I was fuming, I had to do my Black Clover reaction and go to work. And I, all, all day I'm just fumed about that ending. Don't get me wrong, it was a fucking good ending. But it's not an open ending. I, want, I didn't want an open ending for this series. I really wanted just a happy ending. I know I'm asking for, probably asking for a lot, but the open ending of it, I wouldn't mind the open ending if、um, it was the librarian just going up to wake up and then probably call an ambulance. They'd be like, oh, maybe a chance he's still alive. But because she goes up to him. Shakes him, goes, Oh, yeah, carry on with your dreams, and walks off. To me, that means he's basically dead.、Um, no matter what, so the open ending's not really too open for me. It's just it's closed my options down to his dead. I did not expect Ash to die. Now, I was prepared for something to happen because a lot of people said the show's really sad. And it's had some sad moments, so I, maybe I, I, I was starting to think maybe just because it was getting towards the end of the episodes, maybe I was, just, I was actually thinking, like, Oh, maybe it's just like. Because of the other moments, the search show is quite sad because it has some brutal moments and it's a fan, been a fantastic journey, definitely intense. So I was sort of just sitting there and I was just like, it got towards the end of the episode. And when he finally ran to go to see EG, I was so happy that I was going to see EG, try and see EG. I know EG was on the plane, but it was just like, we're going to the airport, we we're probably going to get to see, it, see him and see EG. But no, he gets fucking stabbed by l o o k fucking things, fucking mate.、Oh, that generally, that ending. It, it, I'm happy everything else was cool. I, like, I love Max getting with Jess again. I love the resolution of everything, the government getting called out, all the shit people being killed off. But fuck, I really wanted Ash and EG just to live happily ever after, you know? But overall, I really want to talk about the series. This series has been a fantastic journey. My God, my experience with, my, my experience with BL has been amazing so far. I went from watching Given, which was my first, which made me cry my eyes out. Now, you might be wondering, I didn't cry. I think I, I was on the edge of crying, but I think, you know, if EG was there and saw him dying and spoke to him, that would have fucking made me, that would have made me ball. But when characters suddenly die, it doesn't make me tear up. I don't have to trust my reactions, but, you know, I, I'm, I am always a sucker for last conversations. You know, it's last conversation between characters. That's it, I'm gone. But yeah, I went from Given, which I, I ended up being an emotional mess for when the song hit, and I went to this action packed banana fish, which. I, was, I, I thought it would be a bit more BL elements, but no, I had a lovely, really real and lovely relationship between Ash and EG. Fantastic plot. Like, what was some of the best plot I've seen in anime? Intense. Most, this is probably been one of the most intense anime where I'm just on the edge of my seat because of what they did early on in the series, and it's one thing I will always praise. The fact they killed the kid off at the start, the fact they killed off Shorter, and, they've every, and they killed off Ash's dad, and the gunfight always led to quite a big death. Made this show so much more intense because of that. Like, if they, say they didn't kill anyone else, kill anyone about this show, or just kill maybe one person, when it got to every gunfight, you might have you just auto assume everyone's going to be alright. But you know, when you do make those those little kills at the start, those, those not little, but you know, when you do those kills at the start, they really hit for later on when it comes to intense scenes because every gunfight in this show, I was on the edge of my seat. Like, every time they took Max hostage, 
I was like, oh shit, do not kill off Max because in my back of my mind, if Katrina's killed off people, so I don't think I'm not thinking, oh Max has got plot armor, he's going to be alright. I'm thinking like, shit, are they actually going to kill off Max? Yeah, so it made every more every scene so much more energy to see. Intense, and I love that the show did that, and a lot more shows can learn from it. A lot of people think character deaths. Character deaths can go one of two ways. It can just be there for shock value, which I don't agree with, but I do think you need to do it just to get that intensity of the story and just say, yeah, on your edge of your seat for every scene. Because in this show, a gun felt dangerous. It didn't feel like a toy or something that people just can dodge with ease. It felt fucking dangerous and it had a lot of weight to it. Even when it was getting all of that, the fodder characters and stuff like that. Ash was a fantastic main character. A joy to watch his character just breaking down as the show went on was brutal to watch he had such an interesting character arc watching those episodes when he was under the do and watching those episodes where he was slowly falling for uh, eg and eg was bringing out the better side of him him having a conflict over his monster side his humanity side and being a monster um having a high iq such an interesting character the only thing i probably have regrets with the series i wish it focused a bit more on eg and us relationship i feel like there wasn't enough of it and i really would have loved some more um you know just some more like chilled episodes with them i know it's a bit hard to do with series because the series is always always something going on like the first 10 episodes of non-stop action heart racing action and a nice little break and i really appreciated the break it had in the middle where we got to really see ash's eg's relationship but even then i still think it would have been nicer to move that at a slower pace maybe added a few more episodes onto it um <clears throat> i have no complaint about the pacing though of the show as like overall when i say like pacing it was a bit fast at times but overall fantastically paced episode each episode moved the plot forward it was an absolutely joy to watch uh, the breakdown uh, getting me to love all the characters i love kane by the end i like getting a lot more by young at the end um bianca with billy anka when they gave us more on him i ended up lo loving him loads the villains arthur was your basic bitch villain but it was enjoyable to watch on the screen whereas dino was your more complex scummy heartless scum villain but he was an entertaining villain, nevertheless. Um, yeah, I'm blown away by this show. It was definitely one of the best shows I've watched in a long time. Um, I'm so sad to know that's here that it's such an underrated show as well. Is it's like fuck to be able to attack such a small part of it, and even then, I don't think it should not be watched because of that because it's fucking good overall, and I think the romance is done really well. But then again, I'm a bit more open-minded to that sort of stuff because as long as the romance is done well, it doesn't matter what it's between, as long as it's done well and it was done here well. Like I said, all I would want to do is I actually wanted more scenes of them being together. Fuck, I just wanted a kiss or something towards the end because I loved it. I love I loved the side EG brought out in Ash. I think Ash would have been such a one-dimensional character if it weren't for EG, if you know what I mean. It brought out that other emotional side that you probably wouldn't have seen otherwise, which made you feel for Ash. Seeing him break down, seeing him being conflicted just made the story so much more interesting and made me way more invested. It was one of the, definitely one of the, just one of the best character arcs I've seen. Ash is a fantastic main character. He's definitely in my S tiers as main characters. I'm generally surprised at how good he was. Max, another character that I loved dearly. I'm so glad he least survived throughout the show. I really want to see what Luigi's reaction to all this is, and I just, I really wish they did like an extra OVA, maybe just to. It was still young. It came out in 2018, so we might see something extra to the series. I would love that. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I could talk about the show forever, guys. But hopefully you've been enjoying these reactions. I want to say to, thank you to anyone who supported on Patreon, anyone who left a like, anyone who viewed these videos or watched them. Thank you for giving me time. I've had a lovely journey. The support on this series has been fantastic. Um, I know I'm slow with them on YouTube, but it's just the way I have to be with it. Um, but I've enjoyed this nevertheless, and it's been one hell of a journey reading all your guys' comments, seeing your opinions of it. And I'm very curious to see what you're going to think when this episode is released on YouTube. And yeah. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for joining for this. Hopefully join for another series. JoJo's will be replacing this series for now. Um, I've got no plans to watch another BO anime yet. But feel free to get suggestions in. Because I do have a list of anime I want to watch. And I do want more BO anime on there. I've finished number 6. I've watched this. I've watched Given. I'm not going to watch Your and I don't recommend that. I think I watched two episodes of it. I wasn't a fan. Um, other than that. I think yeah. Guys. Hopefully you enjoyed these reactions. It's been a pleasure. And I hope to see you in another service. Peace.